Hey guys, today we'll show you how to use Kelfbinder. This provides faster boot times to a program of your choice such as the Open PS2 Loader. If you set Freemic Boot to launch OPL automatically, it will result in about 15 second boot time. If you use Kelfbinder to install OPL itself, that takes 9 seconds. This will work on all PS2 models except for the 90,000 series. I will be using a 75,000 for this tutorial. If you have a 90,000 series, you will need to use OpenTuna instead. The first thing you'll need is an entry exploit. For fat PS2s, I recommend using a SATA hard drive adapter and free hard drive boot. For slims, I suggest using free DVD boot as it works on all slims and can be burned onto a blank DVD. If neither of those methods work, then you can use a memory card with free boot pre-installed. The first download is Kelfbinder. This is the installer. Now we need Kelf tool. This is used to encrypt our ELF file. Next is the encryption keys. Then we have the app config for OPL, which will let us launch ulaunch ELF from OPL. And then finally, your homebrew of choice. I'm going to be using OPL. If you're using hard drive, USB, or SMB, you want the official version. I'm going to be using UDP BD, so I'm going to be using that build instead. All these links will be down in the description. After all those are downloaded, we need to start extracting. First, I'm going to do Kelf Binder. Next, we need to extract Kelf Tool. Then once that's extracted, we're going to take the keys and then put that in the Kelf Tool folder. Next, we're going to extract Open PS2 Loader. And then paste it in the same folder that Kelf Tool is in. Now I'm going to hold shift and right click and then choose PowerShell. Then I'm going to type K and then hitting tab should auto complete it to Kelf tool. If it shows up with nothing at first that means you're missing one of the dependencies. You're going to need to install Visual C++ Redistributable. Make sure to choose the x86 version as Kelf tool is built with x86. Now go ahead and install. Now that that's installed, when we run Kelf tool again, it should bring up output like it does now. Next, we're going to need to type Kelf tool and then encrypt DNAS load and then type in O and then tab to autocomplete and then system.xlf all capital. Run that and then once that's done, we'll have a encrypted system file. Next, we need to copy that system.xlf and go into the Kelfbinder folder and install and then KELF. Next, we need to paste and replace. And then now we need to go into the assets folder and I'm going to delete PS2 BBL and apps as we will not be using them. Next we can go back and copy the Kelf binder folder. Now we're going to go into our flash drive and paste it. And we can't forget the app config. Now just to double check, I'm going to go into properties on this drive and make sure it's in FAT32. I'm going to go to hardware then go to USB device. I'm going to choose properties and then change settings, go to volumes tab, then I'm going to choose populate and that'll show me if it's in the proper, okay it is MBR so we are good. MBR FAT32 that is what you want. So now we're going to go ahead and eject the flash drive and head over to the PS2. Now I'm going to be loading up free DVD boot right now with the flash drive plugged in as well as my memory card. And it should bring us to ulaunch elf. First thing we want to do is go to the memory card. I'm going to choose square to select all. Then I'm going to choose R1 then copy. Now I'm going to go back into our flash drive. I'm going to make a new folder, call it backup and then PSU paste all of the memory card files in there so we have a backup. Now I'm going to go into the Kelf binder folder and launch the ELF. 
now that we're in Kelf Binder, we're gonna go to Manage System Updates, then do a test on Magic Gate. This will make sure that our memory card encryption is working properly. If it succeeds, we're good to go ahead. Go back into Manage System Updates, and then we're gonna do a normal install on our memory card. Once that is complete, now we need to go back into, now we need to choose exit and then press triangle to go into ulaunch elf. And then now we're going to go into our, our memory card, hit R1 and choose new directory, and I'm going to label it OPL, and this needs to be OPL all capital. Next we're going to go into our flash drive, R1 copy on conf app and then we're going to paste it into the OPL folder. Now we can go ahead and restart the PlayStation. This time when it boots up it should load directly into OPL. Next we got to adjust some settings. These are going to be specific to your device but make sure to enable application start menu to manual and also your device of choice. Now go ahead and go to save changes. And then now if we hit circle and then go right into apps, run, we should be able to go into you launch elf from within OPL. And that is very useful if you ever need to update things or copy over files. I'm going to restart the PlayStation once more. The boot up should be substantially faster. Now let's load into a game. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like. Thank you for watching.